Hey, what's going on, yo? So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at Fortnite. Now, Fortnite made history yesterday because as far as I know, this is the very first game that has Lumen, Nanite Foliage, Virtual Shadow Maps, pretty much all of the cool technologies that I've been using here on the channel for like a year and a half or so are all in this game now. Now, obviously, I don't play a lot of Fortnite, but I want to see what it looks like in a production setting, a finished game, per se. So let's go ahead and check it out. I heard there's a couple of settings in here. Big thanks to Wow Wow Shira. He told me in Twitter that, you know, they put everything in Fortnite now. So let's go ahead and go to my settings here. Let's take a look. We're running this with a 4090, and there was a driver I had to install that came out three days ago. So we're good. Uh, 4K, we're going to turn VSync on. Unlimited Direct X12. All right, so let's go. These are all just regular settings. Quality presets. Okay, there's an epic run right there. Okay. Ooh, they have temporal super resolution. This, so this is the new anti-aliasing setting in the Unreal Engine 5.1 or 5.0. So that's cool. We have TSR. Let's switch that all the way to epic temporal resolution. Mm. Native? Uh... Um, let's go with quality and then nanite. Yes, there it is nanite virtualized geometry That's amazing man crazy. That's in here virtual shadows. Yes, we're gonna be using virtual shadows global illumination We're gonna turn it to epic reflections epic. I wonder if hardware uh, Translucency is in here. Oh, let's see your textures epic everything up all the way post-processing hardware tracing there it is i'm gonna turn this on and it looks like i have to restart my game but let's take a look um i'm gonna turn off nvidia reflex low latency because i i just want to see how this performs okay so i'm gonna double check make sure that our setting is on there let's go ahead and go to my settings settings let's go make sure we have hardware tracing on perfect it's good to go and let's play. How do you play this game? Let's see here. I'm going to go play right here. And season one. Sure. Battle Royale, Duo, Dios. Whatever. I'm just going to... I'm just going to choose the first one. Oh, man. This is Duo. Oh, I feel so bad for my partner right now. Because I'm not going to be doing anything here. Sorry, dude. Or dudette. This is why I don't play video games. I hate waiting. Panasonic autofocus, Panasonic autofocus, Panasonic autofocus. Okay. Uh, space to that jump. Looks like every member of the seven is currently missing, which means there's no one here to stop me from unleashing the scientist experimental reality augmentation system. All right. I'm gonna go to the most furthest adjusting. place. Wow. This runs really smooth. I'm gonna turn on MSI Afterburner, by the way. Sorry, I forgot about that. I'm just gonna go as far away as I can. Oh, there's people there. How about right here? Ah. Wow, this runs really freaking nice. <laughs> there's like no lag. And look at these. Oh man, this is exciting stuff. Come on, how do you uh how do you go down? F jump um second here? God. Okay, let me turn on MSI. Okay, so here we are, MSI afterburner, 90 frames per second, bro. Holy smokes. Wow, this game. Look at that. Yo, those reflections. I don't remember it looking like that. Let, let me just mess around real quick. Yo. It's so crazy because we talk about in the channel whenever I do my demos. People always talk about, you know, this is... This is the, the future of gaming. But nah, it's, it's out. Like, this is using all the technology that I've been dem demoing for a while. And this is screen space reflections, right? Man, that is insane. I'm gonna, st I'm just gonna set that to native because my PC is running pretty good so far. And my goodness, it is. The reality augmentation system is up and running. It is up. It is 
Optimize, optimize. Look at that water, dude. Fudge. All right, we're running at 56, 57 FPS now. This is native TSR, which is bananas. Now, I'm guessing these trees are nanite. Now, I read somewhere that some of these trees are like 300,000 triangles each. That's a freak ton. Yo, these grass, they look amazing. I wonder if nanite foliage is being used in this. I think it is. Holy smokes. All right, I'm gonna turn down the uh, TSR so that you all have a better viewing kind of experience here. All right, so there you go. Turn it down. I think I hear somebody, so let me run away. <clears throat> wow, dude. This looks fantastic. All right, we drop down for a second. Woo, man. I wonder if consoles are going to look like this. This is so... It's beautiful. As you all know, I like photorealism, but this is crazy stylized. I actually like it. You know, for a game, obviously. Oh my god. Well done, Epic. Well done. The very first game to have Nanite foliage, virtual shadow maps, everything. All their technology, TSR, all technology is in this now. And what's cool is, I, I, I really have to give a shout out um, to all the parents out there. Because this game right here fueled Unreal Engine. The money that you all are spending here to buy your kids V-Bucks is fueling Unreal Engine and is actually benefiting us. So, big thank you to all the parents. Because this is you. My god. Nanite Rock. And, and, and one of the you biggest things about Nanite Trees is that I can see far away, and the trees are still going to be there. So you're never going to see pop-ins anymore. You're not going to see pop-ins. Look at that. As far as I can see, I can see trees. Oh my god. This is great. Um, I don't know what's going on. I'm just going to keep going. Wow. I love the autumn feel to it. Really co colorful. Vibrant. And again, I'm looking at my recording here. You're actually not seeing the fullest quality so what i'll do is i'm going to take a screenshot and i will share it in the uh i'll share it in my uh google drive so you can see what i'm looking at so i'll take a screenshot right here wait, wait what okay let's try that god this is beautiful we also have lumen in here now along with everything else so that means that we have you know, dynamic shadows. Crazy. I wonder if they're going to cycle through the weather, though. I am curious to know about that. Because that would be super cool. And again, I'm sorry. I do not play this game. I just have it so I can test it out. Let's look at this here. See, that looks good. That's definitely Nanite there. Um... Do I buy something? Oh, I need a key. Wow. I don't know what's going on in here, but 
I'm just gonna go out. Jeez. That's crazy. It's it's just so cool to see like everything that I've been testing on the channel actually in a production game now. Oh crap. I'm dying. Holy smokes. This is a beautiful game. Look at this. Crazy good. Man, I wish I, you can actually see my screen, you know? Because it's... it's so different. And what I'm kind of curious is with Lumen and Nanai foliage right now, I'm getting some flickers and things like that. But so far, everything is good. They're animating. They have some wind effects in there. I don't see any shadow flickering. Dang. This looks awesome. A frog right here. I don't remember this game looking this good when I played it a couple of months back just for fun. This is insane, man. I am dropping some frames here, about 40 frames per second. But we are maxed out to the teeth. Obviously, except for TSR. Ooh, there's a crate here. Do I have a gun? Okay, there's a gun. Wait, that's a med kit. I don't want to use a med kit. Shield? Yeah. Nope, there's no more screen space there, friends. Golly. <laughs> and it really makes you wonder. I mean, actually, it doesn't make you wonder. It, it makes so much sense that majority of the video games nowadays are getting made in this engine. Witcher, Final Fantasy, Silent Hill, Gears of War, Tomb Raider, everything is getting made in Unreal Engine 5. Wow. Really good job to the people who worked on this. I, I bet you this is a lot of long nights. This is so good. I, I just don't know. Um, how, How's the anti-cheat in this game, though? Because, you know, that can, like, ruin the game for me. Do they have a lot of cheaters in this game? What is this one? Uh, machine gun? Okay. Uh, what is that? Shield? Okay. Sorry, y'all. Like I said, I, I don't really play much. I have no idea what I'm doing. What is this? A sh oh, shoot. Okay. Oh my gosh. This is overwhelming. Level 2, y'all. Definitely don't want to go there. I mean, honestly now, even, even if World of Warcraft can look like this, I'll be okay with it.
Oh god. Got lucky there. I want his shotgun. Did he have a shotgun? Yeah. Yeah, even even if World of Warcraft would look like this, I would be so down. Awesome. It's crazy. It looks good. It looks pretty darn good. But yeah, if you haven't done so, go ahead and check out the channel. I do a lot of Unreal Engine 5 videos. I'm actually messing around with the same exact technology as what they're using here. Uh, I just uploaded a video today. You should check out. It's pretty cool in my opinion. I'm using all these technology. Nanite foliage, nanite, everything, and lumen. So yeah, let me know if you have any questions. Like always, thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all later. Peace out.